What's up challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Gio and this is the locker room for the conference finals of season 7 of the GBA. The San Francisco Giantes are team building for the San Diego Chim Chargers and their coach Envy. Really good friend of mine. Um, been uh, the, the front officer for my team for more than half the season and uh, really looking forward to this battle but also super excited and more importantly ridiculously tired right now um i just got off work a couple of hours ago i had to do some team but we're, the our schedules are kind of weird because um for those of you who don't know i'm a nurse and my schedule is built to give me a long stretch of days off on the first week of a two-week pay period and then i work a lot during the second one including on the weekends so it's saturday going on Sunday right now and yeah, it's, uh, officially it's Sunday right now and um, but this is the only time that we could really battle um, he wasn't free during the week uh, I wasn't really free during the week except for uh, a day or two and now I have work but I'm willing to get it done after work shift just to make just to put it all together you got to make sacrifices for the playoff guys <laughs> anyway um above me you will see his 11 drafted mon and as you guys know if you're familiar with this show i like to tier them based on i think likelihood of brings but it's not exactly like one two three four five six um it's it's sort of it's sort of tiered uh relatively speaking uh the I can only fit three mon, like three gifs of the mon or gifs uh, on side by side, so it's sort of weird like that. But I'll just kind of go over. His 11 drafted mon are Landorus T, Dragonite, Empoleon Cresselia, uh, Alolan Muck, Magnezone Verizion, Alakazam, Kabutops, Kingdra, and Pelipper. So let's uh, let's get things out of the way. He didn't bring rain against me last time i don't think he's gonna bring rain against me this time if i'm being honest it just it doesn't lend itself well his pelipper is completely walled by heliolisk heliolisk is relatively decent against uh, a good amount of his team anyway yeah so i i just i don't i don't see it as likely that he brings it he could but it really lends itself to being counter sweep by ditto on the left side of the screen, you can of course see uh, the six mon that I'm going to be bringing this week. So let's just jump into the team builder and sort of talk about this uh, and uh, the mon I'm bringing. So of course, Dumbledore, the Kinkelder, he's running a Guts Flame Orb set this week. Now, uh, Knock Off, Drain Punch, Ice Punch, Mock Punch is pretty much ideal coverage for almost everything I'd need. If it resists Drain Punch on his team, it's weak to Ice Punch. Things that I'm uh, that I'm actually concerned with him bringing. I'm not really worried about the Pelipper. Things like the uh, the Dragonite and the uh, Landorus both resist the Drain Punch, uh, as does the uh, Cresselia. But the Cresselia is weak to the knockoff, and the Ice Punch will handle the uh, Landorus and the Dragonite. So, uh, pretty good coverage from the Dumbledore. Dumbledore is powerful especially with the guts flame orb set so uh, i'm looking forward to seeing the kind of work he can put in um didn't get too creative with this with the sets here speed tier 45 um doesn't do a whole lot for me um against his team there so not too worried should be outsped yeah doesn't do too much to me there anyway so moving on um against his team one thing i've been most concerned about is the Cresselia and I think it would be a mistake for him to not bring it however I really hope he doesn't because I know that MV likes to play kind of uh, aggressive he likes offense a lot I more prefer balance but against his team the potential for momentum or to allow him to set up if he decides to run a Cresselia with Calm Mind and Substitute is way too great. Cresselia is actually really hard for my team to deal with. Uh, I ran through a couple of iterations of this team. I considered bringing uh, Black Hole Eclipse Salamence. I considered 
Specs, Heliolisk with Dark Pulse, and all of these things fell short to the Cresselia if it was able to get up uh, a Calm Mind or its sub, um, and if it packed coverage for the Salamence. So it could run Psy Shock Ice Beam, it could run Psy Shock Moon Blast, um, and that puts me in a really precarious situation. So um, a big thing I wanted to do was bring uh, Mr. Finance, who is bulky enough to take the Psychic from it and can hit it back hard with a Megahorn. Uh, Rindo Berry is so that I can take on a hit from the the Verizion, or uh, last time he uh, brought an Alakazam with Energy Ball to try and take on the Rhyperior. So this allows me to get off an extra hit against him. Stone Edge over Rock Blast this time. A uh, little bit of bulk on him, uh, just enough speed that I can uh, outspeed the Alolan Muck or speed tide if it's got uh, just minor investment. Moving on, uh, the Ice Punch of course is anything, his team in general, if it resists or is immune to Earthquake, Ice Punch is pretty good against it. Um, so moving on, we have the Moana. Moana is running Taunt, Nature's Madness, Moonblast, and Defog this week. I don't want to allow rocks to be up on my side of the field. And there's a couple of reasons for that. One is that Remix is, is coming this week, just to jump ahead, and uh, a pretty standard set, the Choice Scarf running Hidden Power Ice. The reason I'm running Hidden Power Ice is Envy and I have talked a lot about each other's teams um, throughout this season, and one of the things he knows to be true is that Remix is amazing against Landorus T, because Landorus T is a great Landorus T check. The only way to really bring much that's going to be very, very effective against himself is to run HP Ice. So if he's running HP Ice, I want to have HP Ice. This helps for a couple of reasons, um, not the least of which being that it also means that I will outspeed um, a Dragonite at plus one if he... no. Uh, that scenario wouldn't come to fruition, but if he's scarfed or if for whatever reason I'm able to set up in a situation where I can lock myself into HP Ice uh, and take out the Landorus or uh, the Dragonite if it if it decides to come in predicting an Earthquake or something like that, uh, that sets me up immensely um, for a big win. So I think HP Ice is the, is the best choice there. Um, so that's, that's the reason for the HP Ice. Largely it's for the Landorus I, or Landorus T, uh, to be able to hit that thing super effective. I'm really tired guys, so please forgive any slips of the tongue if I'm not really articulating uh, what I'm trying to say really well. Um, another good thing about Remix that I really love is as a lead option, if I see the Landorus, I know that Envy likes to lead Landorus a lot. So if I do see Landorus as a lead, Remix can actually come in. And one of the beauties of leading Remix is that uh, as we exchange our um, our abilities, I will get intimidated. Then I will transform into the Landorus, remove that intimidate because I am copying the Landorus's stats and then intimidate it back. So I actually get to lead off against the Landorus with it at minus one and me at not minus one. So that's one of the great things about uh, Remix as a lead against Landorus, which is also a really common lead. It allowed me to scout it out, um, if that's the case. The only concern I have is that last time uh, he brought a Scarf Landorus, which would risk speed tie with me, and he had knockoff on it. So that could potentially lose me my Scarf, so that's something I need to be concerned about when I look at his uh, team at Team Preview. So, Moana. One of Moana's biggest roles this week is uh, going to be keeping rocks off the field. And that's largely because I need to make sure that if Remix is going to come in and copy Dragonite, that I still have multi-scale active when that's when that's happening. Uh, it also helps out a lot versus Ments. Rocks aren't particularly strong against my team this week, quite like they have been in other weeks when I've brought both Arcanine and Ments, but it's still really important that I keep them off the field so that I keep myself 
in range of surviving a lot of uh, one-hit KOs from some of his other Pokemon that might have super effective coverage for me, excuse me. So Moana is a really good switch into Empoleon. Last time he brought his Empoleon, he did bring the hidden power electric. So I need to be concerned about that, So, which is part of why I brought Nature's Madness. If I want to be able to switch into Empoleon, I need to be able to chip it down a lot. Empoleon does not have reliable recovery. Uh, it could bring a rest set, but I have no idea why it would do that knowing that uh, I have Misty Surge on the Moana. It just wouldn't make sense. Uh, I can taunt it and prevent it from setting up its own rocks if it opts to run that set. If it is a rocks defog set, its coverage is sort of limited because uh, between Scald and either Ice Beam or HP Electric, he leaves something to be desired one way or another. If he doesn't bring HP Ice, Mad Mence is going to wall it. If he doesn't bring HP Electric, Moana is going to wall it. So it sort of gives me a couple of options there. Uh, and so that'll leave Moana as a pretty good check uh, to its team. The reason for Moonblast is because I don't really want uh, Virizion to have an easy time setting up on me. And um, Surf doesn't really do much for his team, per se. I mean, it does it does net a, su a few super effective hits, but Ice Beam would be better in that circumstance. But Moonblast is just more reliable, um, especially... Uh, just as a safe click on the switch taunt is there to prevent uh, Mainly to prevent the Empoleon from doing anything significant against me uh, But it could also be useful to prevent substituting mons to set up for uh, Remix to counter sweep afterwards. So you yeah, have seen the remix set uh, the mad men set uh, We're going scarf moxie this week And that's why it's such a lot of this is kind of setting up to allow scarf moxie to really run uh, through his team. Outrage um, uh, will pick up a lot of really important kills. It can ki take out the Dragonite, but I need to break the multi-scale first, which is why rocks are going to be so important this week, and that's part of why I ended up bringing uh, Zom this week, because I kind of need it. Uh, Earthquake is going to be good against the Empoleon. Last time I battled him, he did bring Shuckaberry, so I need to keep an eye out for that. I don't want to... Uh, I can... I can allow myself to click Earthquake if I predict him as a switch in, like if it seemed pretty obvious that I would click Outrage, but I can't click it in against him because, of course, if he survives it and gets an Ice Beam off on me, I lose Mad Mints, and he's one of my primary win cons. Mad Mints and Remix uh, copying Dragonite will be big for, for me this week, because both of our teams, while we do have checks to Dragons, um, mine being a little bit better, he uh, doesn't <laughs> have as good a checks for them, so it, it could be really useful for me. Hydro Pump is, just in case he does bring the rain, it actually does a hefty amount of damage to the Landorus Eye, uh, as opposed to bringing the HP Ice. It's also a safe click if uh, Muck is a good switch, is one of his primary switch-ins for Ments. Um, and it also allows me to hit on the special side, which uh, could be nice. And Crunch is there uh, primarily for the Cresselia. It's it's hard to say that I would ever lock myself into the other moves, but there are scenarios where being I don't know, last Mon standing scenarios where uh, Crunch and Hydro Pump could be really, really useful for me. Uh, perhaps against uh, a Magnezone if it manages to get up a... Um, a Magnet Rise, and I won't be able to click Earthquake against it. Hydro Pump will hit it for a lot, especially in the rain, and Magnezone is all but guaranteed if he does end up bringing a rain team, which, again, I don't think he brings rain this week. Crunch, like I said, it's, uh, it's useful against the uh, Alakazam, it's useful against the Cresselia. So, uh, Okay, this is going to be the third time I've tried to say the Bronzong set here because uh, the camera keeps uh, cutting on me and then lagging on the video. So <laughs> let me just finish real quick here. The Bronzong set is to sort of serve as um, it's a really reliable stealth rocker against his team. And I think it's a really safe lead against him. 
Landorus T, if it does end up coming, has been his lead very frequently. Last time he brought it as Scarfed against me, which is a great way for him to get grab momentum. He can U-turn right out of the bat. Um, so with my defensive investment, I should be able to handle a Landorus T really well. Uh, I can take a knockoff, which is uh, what he ran on his set last time I played against him. Scarf, knockoff, earthquake, U-turn, um, and I, I forget what his last move is. Maybe uh, rock coverage for for Salamence. I anticipate Hidden Power Ice this week, um, but I guess we'll have to see for that. I pack Hidden Power Ice because if he does end up leading the Landorus... Uh, I mean, I have to play the 50-50 game as to whether or not I think he's going to U-turn out or click knockoff right away, but I can hit him for a two-hit KO. I can set up Stealth Rocks, which will be huge for me if I can get that up to try and help break um, multi-scale on the Dragonite. Gyro Ball for Stab and Earthquake is uh, in case he tries to trap me with his Magna Zone. Uh, I do have coverage for it to hit it four times super effective. So that's the team this week, guys. Um, MB, I think, has sent me a message on Discord, so I'm just going to read that. Um, I think, yeah, it looks like he's ready to go. So um, I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. I will see you guys a little bit later. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.